What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Demo, all the couple music. So, Jeannie Buss is the current owner of the Los Angeles Lakers. It is a great franchise, and her father, the great late Jerry Buss, uh, he's a PhD in chemistry and not only was he a great chemist, but even outside of that, he was a great businessman. He had um, many great real estate investments and eventually becoming the owner of the Lakers. Um, you know, I will say that Jeannie Buss has done a, a pretty fairly decent job, um, especially as of late, because she fired Mitch Kupchak um, as general manager, who was a you know really longstanding uh, piece there. She brought in Rob Palenka. Okay, and they won a championship uh, two years ago. So no no problems there. Now, but Jeannie Buss, though, she is what you would consider a complete alpha woman. Now, obviously, her father left her a lot of money and left her the business. And it looked like she was going to destroy the Lakers until she didn't. Right. She did a really excellent job of getting the franchise back on track. And now that she's done that, we have a lot of eyes on her because of what she is now. However, there are some things that have come out about her past tweets um, that uh, in, about her. Now, now, now she was also dating Phil Jackson at the time, but Jeannie Buss had a fetish for certain NBA players. Now, not, not only that, remember, Jeannie Buss posed for Playboy in the 1990s. She's a good looking woman. Still, even at 60. Um, but I, wa I want you guys to, 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 to look at some of these tweets here. Uh, Demo, day music. Met Johnny Flynn of Minnesota Timberwolves before the game. If I had a number one pick, I would draft him. He is a cutie. Okay, so can I get a da 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 sound effect? So thirst exposed there. This is 2009. Her father was still living. I don't know who was running the organization. Take music. Just met Kevin Love from UCLA Timberwolves. He may replace Tony Parker as the hottest guy in the NBA. Can I get a dun 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 sound effect? <laughs> All right, so Kevin Love is white and Tony Parker is mixed. So let's put their pictures up right there. So we definitely know that he's attracted to um, light skinned guys and white guys. That's for sure, okay? So we know that. Let's go to the next thing here. Day music! Lamar, take off your take your pants off. We scream as he checks into the game. Jesus Christ. Okay, so now listen, stop the show. That that could mean uh um that could mean like he could be on the bench and he maybe had on some warm-ups or something like that. But it could could mean that uh, she likes Lamar Odom. Also, not sure. Um let's let's look at this though. Day music on the bus headed to Staples. CP3 isn't playing tonight. He is a cutie. So stop the show. So we know that she likes Kevin Love, Tony Parker, Chris Paul. Chris Paul is definitely black. All right. Um, let's go this one. Day music. Kevin Durant has those extra long arms like Phil Jackson. They come in handy. Uh, uh, can I get a da 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 sound effect? All right. So, hmm. You know what she's thinking about. Let's look at this. Day music, Kevin. Love your commercial spot. It's sexy fun. Give us more. But real Lamar Odom is still my favorite NBA four. Okay, so listen. So I just want to say this. Number one, there are a few things here. If you're an NBA owner and you're saying this about women, you're canceled right now. Like if you were a guy before you became the owner and this comes out, like it's a problem. Jeannie Buss, as a female owner, can get away with this. Right. But I want to look at to something a little bit more deeper because look who she thinks is attractive and who she will actually date. This is a woman, a Caucasian woman that has been taught by the elites on who you marry and who you date. And if they don't have that, you don't date them. Now, I want to tell you, this is this is how women who have come from you know really good families um, operate. They will screw these guys left and right. This is a lot of times when you see guys when they marry outside um, of black America. And I know that men don't typically care about, you know, money and things like that. But I, I, I do want to talk about like women who have a, a lot of stuff. They can screw your brains out. But I can tell you one thing. They're not going to marry you unless you're somebody on their level. They can think you're cute. 
They can think that you're sexy, but you will never meet their parents. You will never be there. And I think that's important to understand this right here, right? Women who are rich do not date or marry people who are not in the same ballpark. That's why you never really see, and in, 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 in even when you look at these guys in the NBA, they're always dealing with chicks who are kind of like, for the most part, like broke. You never see these guys really getting, and a lot of times when I hear about it from, from black men, I never really see black men get, if they marry white women or something like that, or non-black women, very seldomly does she come from like a very prosperous family. I very rarely see it. Because, what you know, white people that have money, especially white women like that. Hey, listen, you, you want me to really, you know, be, 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 be your, be your, you're going to have to be somebody, which is why she was almost married to Phil Jackson. That's another thing too. We got to look at, all right. These women like, and a, and a lot of white women, I think that are high powered and attracted, they're attracted to black men. But I think that what they, what they look at black men and, and other guys who are not really successful is, oh, you're just a cute guy. You know, remember when Jeannie Mai, um, you know, I want to talk about Jeannie Mai because remember she said before she would look at black men and consider them attractive. But what ultimately that she felt with black men were that they were just a plaything. It was nothing to take seriously or anything like that. You know, that th they were not interested in taking these people seriously. People, people thought that was very disrespectful. I heard to say that, which in a way it, it, it could be considered that, right? That's what she felt. Like, hey, you know, these guys, um, I don't really take them that serious. I think a lot of women who are into, you know, b black, black men, that's what they're like. To be honest, hey, hey, you know, you guys are okay and and stuff like that. But if you're not somebody that is on my level, I'm not going to deal with you. That's what I think. I could be wrong. But hey, that's what Genie Bus is like. And if you think about it, that's what we're looking at. But I want to kind of get back to the owner part. These tweets come out about an owner right now. As a male owner, he's in a lot of trouble. Jenny Bus can get along with anything. Take your pants off. Look at that. Take your pants off, Lamar. Even though I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt by saying, you know, he's probably going to come into the game and substitute for somebody because he's at the time Lamar Odom was coming off the bench anyway. He was the sixth man of the year. But hey, feminists would have turned it into a different way, different story. And that's why we're here. But guys, what do you think? Should she be ashamed of those? thirsty things she's talking about i don't think so i think it's a little bit disrespectful to phil jackson that she's out here flirting with players like that i think she's probably been banged by by a myriad of nba players too booty up and sounds <laughs> but what do you think guys it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i already appreciate you for all that you do subscribe at the bell check out the first company at the top and as you know the buffoon remains at an all-time high i'm out